Sci is building a crowd-based and system-generated prediction and fan engagement platform. And with me is the CEO of Fanify, David Vinokarov. Uh, welcome. Well, Great to meet you in person. Nice to meet you in person, <laughs> finally, as well. on Zoom. All right, so you just changed the name of the yep. company. Um, I guess, g give me the reason why you did that. Well, uh, the main reason is that as we developed the technology and we saw all the different applications that we and sectors, content silos that we could apply our prediction engine to, it, it really expanded beyond fandom, sports, and media. Uh, we can overlay our predictive technology on live streams, cooking shows, makeup tutorials, sports, esports. You know, we're only limited by our creativity. Uh -huh. And the Fandify brand name, it's uh, more unique and it's a little bit more generic. And frankly, it's both a noun and a verb, right? Our goal is now to Fandify yeah. the global content creator more community. A like condensed, like yeah. kind of, yeah, exactly. I like yeah. it. Um, so you gave a brief explanation of mm -hmm. the business. Let's get, go through the business model. What is Fandify so, so what our mission is, is really to empower the global content creator community. So typically, uh, content creators are able to monetize their content through advertising. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you engage with broadcast content? You watch it with your eyes or you may tweet about it, mm -hmm. but beyond that, that really stops. So with the Fandify prediction engine, what we can, over, what we can do is overlay real-time predictions within the context of what's occurring live in a particular feed, in a pre-scripted program to keep people engaged, to swipe left, swipe right, mm -hmm. throughout the duration of that content, uh, creating a more engaging experience, and again, creating new revenue streams. We can do watch parties where people can challenge each other to predictions that are occurring in the stream as well. So it's a new way to monetize content. It's a new way to engage with your fans, and it's frankly unique in the market. Yeah, is that artificial intelligence driven? Or? Well, what we can do with our, uh, it's, it's a neural network in the back, okay. uh, but what we can do is based on the type of content silos, our system will recognize what's going on in that specific event, and we'll be able to suggest uh, predictions similar to what you have in the uh, Google search bar. So, okay, and what are your most important markets, would you say? Well, we're going to first be going after the eSports market. Um, eSports, you know, okay. Yeah, we're starting with that. Uh, beyond that, we're going to be moving into sports and live scripted content. Uh, we just recently announced an LOI with uh, Yoruba Media Labs. Uh, it's a technology incubator in Los Angeles, and uh, they're involved in various different types of uh, uh, scripted programming, live content, broadcasting, uh, award shows, and other very cool yeah. things. Now, there's some gamification to mm -hmm. this too, right, and rewards, and how yep. does that fit into the whole business? So, you know, what we want to do is reward people for their attention, right? So as you're watching, as you're engaging with the community, as you're engaging with other viewers, you're winning um, leaderboard status, digital goods, NFTs, which obviously are very popular. Mm -hmm. uh, those NFTs that we're going to be creating, uh, we partnered with Polygon, uh, which is one of the leading blockchain protocols uh, that allows minting of significant amount of NFTs at scale at extremely low cost. You know, our goal is not to you know create the next uh, super popular collection where they're selling for millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. You know, what our goal is is to create millions of NFTs for hundreds of millions of fans, hopefully, be able to mint them uh, quickly at scale, efficiently, and to create custom utility tokens that will reward people uh, through brand activations uh, with the sponsors of specific content creators or some of the brands that we're going to be working yeah. with as well. Now you mentioned the partnership with Yoruba Lab. So tell me about who that is mm -hmm. and how does this all fit in? Yeah, so uh, Yoruba is headed by Wally El Tawashi, who's a good friend of ours. Uh, so he's got um, a lot of unique content that he's producing. Uh, he's produced numerous uh, documentaries at various major broadcasting houses. So uh, he's our man on the ground in Los Angeles. He's uh, helping us facilitate introductions to uh, talent agents, uh, okay. talent, mm -hmm. music industry, uh, live scripted broadcasting. So that's really one of the first partnerships that we're going to be announcing. So there's going to be a lot more news flow coming from the company as we get more penetration each, into each of those uh, content silos. So it's a very big start for us. Yeah, no, I feel like we're going to be doing some more interviews. I hope so, yeah. More things. Anything else besides that that's coming up for Fanfy? Yeah, like I said, we have a significant pipeline of partnerships that are coming up. Uh, you know, Yoruba was the first one that we've announced. Uh, we've announced previous partnerships with esports ownership organizations, so we're looking to expand that. Uh, you know, as we go further beyond uh, working with Wally, uh, making some deals, hopefully with the studios that produce other content as well. And you know, going back to our brand positioning, you know, our mission is to fandify the world, if you will. Yeah. So uh, anybody that's creating content, we want them to think of fandify as a new way to engage with their fans and their audience. Okay, and they can find out how to do that on your website? Yeah, or yeah. Just fandify.com, F-A-N-D-I-F-I.com. Okay. All our information's there and uh, lots of stuff coming.
coming down the pipe, so we're very excited. Thank you, David. Thank you. Uh -huh.